Hi, my name's Andrew. I'm one of the librarians at Maribyrnong Libraries. Today, we're gonna to learn how to make our own animated knock-knock joke using scratch coding. So to do this, you'll need to go to scratch.mit.edu. If you want to keep your work, you'll need to create an account, and you'll also need a knock-knock joke. So, let's get started. Okay, now that you've got your knock knock joke, we can create a new project. So to do that, we click on create, just up on the left top side of the screen. Now our project will load, and we have our project page. So on the left, you'll see different types of code that we'll use later. There's also a tab for costumes where you can change what your sprites, which are the little characters that you use in Scratch, look like. And there's also a sounds tab. So on this project, we're not gonna get into sounds, but we are going to use costumes and coding. So let's begin by removing the little cat from our stage, which is this little square right here on the right side of the screen. So I'm gonna click down the bottom on this sprite one image i'm going to click on the little bin symbol so we'll click on the bin and that will delete our little cat now for our joke we're going to need a backdrop so your knock knock joke might be in a swamp or it might be somewhere in the street so there's lots and lots of backdrops to choose from now i'm going to go with kind of a frozen theme and i'm going to choose the arctic so I'll show you that again. So to choose a backdrop, you click on the bottom right side of the screen, just on this round part, and you can choose from lots and lots of backdrops. So we've got basketball courts, bedrooms, farms, deserts, the city at night, underwater, there's lots and lots of options. So we'll go back to Arctic, and now we'll need some characters. So to do that, we click on the little choose sprite logo here which is just next to the background so we'll click on choose sprite now i reckon i'm going to choose well if it's a frozen theme we're going to need a princess so i'm going to choose this princess so she now appears on the stage i'm going to move her over here and we need something Thing else that looks kind of like it belongs in the Arctic. Let's see. Let's try an animal. Aha! A hare! It looks like an Arctic hare. So I'm going to click on that one and move the little Arctic hare over. That Arctic hare is looking pretty small, but we can change the size. So you'll notice that down here you can see the hare icon is highlighted so our hair is selected and I'm going to make this hair twice as big so instead of 100 I'm going to change it to 200 and then click on the stage and magically our hair is a larger size also at the moment our princess is facing the wrong way this is where costumes over here the costumes tab is going to come in handy so I'm going to click on the Costumes tab. Oh, but I haven't changed which character I have. So I better go right down the bottom here and click on Princess. And now I can see the princess. I want to turn her so she's facing the opposite direction. So what I'm going to do is there's a button here, which is Flip Horizontal, which means it will change her to facing the other way. If I selected flip vertical, she'd be upside down, which looks hilarious, but we want her to be the right way up. So I've clicked flip horizontal, and now she's facing the hair. So we've got our characters, we've got our background. Now we can start coding. The first thing we need to do is decide what begins our code. So 
to do that, we go over to the events section of the coding tab. So the coding tab is here if you're still on costumes. So we go to events and click on events. And you can also scroll through the different colors, which will do different things. So motion controls how things move. His appearance. Sound is really cool. So you have sound. Events is what we'll be using. Control. Well, it's kind of what it claims to be. It controls what happens. So all those other uh, bits of code can be added to the controls. Sensing. So when different things happen, when different actions happen that, that you might control or the program might control, it will change various things. Um, operators, so it can pick random numbers and all sorts of things. Variables, you can get it to, well we won't go into that too much for this project. And my blocks, we're not going to go into that. So we're going to start off with an event. So we just want our anim animation to start. So I'm going to use this when green flag kicked is clicked. So that means when somebody presses the green flag, your animation will just play. So I think the first thing we want to do is have someone say, knock, knock. Yeah, okay. So we're going to click on looks. And the first thing that we have on here is a say bit of code. So we don't want to say hello, but we do want to say knock knock. And we want to say it for a certain amount of time. See if I click on there, it says hello. Pretty good. And because we've got the princess selected, all this code that we drag in here belongs to the princess. So I'm going to drag this say hello over here just underneath the when clicked bit of code and it will snap together. So instead of hello we want to write knock knock. There we go and two seconds seems about right. Let's click the little flag and see what happens. Aha we have a princess saying knock knock. Now the hare is probably going to want to say who's there. That's usually the way a knock knock joke goes. So if we go down the bottom of the screen and instead of princess we click hair, we can add hair, um, sorry, code for the hair. So we're going to click on events again because we want it to start at the same time. So we're going to drag over a when clicked. Now, what do we think we want to do here? Because we don't want them to talk at the same time. We might want the hair to wait a little bit. Yeah, so we can go to this control section just down there and there's a handy wait bit of code. So we're going to put it down here. Now, if we click back on the princess, she talks for two seconds. So we probably want to wait at least two seconds before the hair says something. So I'm going to change it to 2.5 seconds. And then what's the hair going to do? The hair is going to ask, who's there? So how about we go back to looks, which is just up here, and drag over the say for two seconds bit of code. And let's change it to who's there. And we need an, a question mark. There we go. So now the hair is going to say who's there for two seconds. And we'll see if 2.5 seconds is long enough to wait between them. So I'm going to go up here and click the green flag. Knock, knock. Who's there? All right, so we've got a little bit of a conversation happening. Next thing we might want to do is have the princess 
answer the hare. So the princess is probably going to want to wait. So if we click on princess, we could go back to the control section and get her to wait. Now that 2.5 seconds seemed to work really good, so I think we'll do that again. 2.5 seconds. And then what does she say? Well, here's the rest of the joke. She's going to say, scold. Scold? Okay. Scold. Where's this joke going? I wonder if anybody has figured it out. So she's going to say, scold, for two seconds. Let's click on the flag and see what happens. Knock, knock. Who's there? Scold. Do you think the hare is going to say something now? I think the hare needs to say something now. What about scold who? But first, we need the hare to wait for 2.5 seconds. So we we'll click on the control section over here. Drag over the wait one seconds box and change the one to 2.5 and then we click on looks and drag over our say hello for two seconds but now we're going to change the hello to scold who all right let's click on the green flag and see what happens knock knock Who's there? Scold. Scold who? Ooh, okay, we're almost there. So, we need the princess to say something now. So she should wait 2.5 seconds. We're going to click on the control button again and drag over our wait for one second block and change it to 2.5 seconds. Whoops. 2.5 seconds. That's better. And then what's she going to say? Let's go over to looks. And we'll drag with the say hello for two seconds. But now she's going to say the punchline. And the punchline is... Scold outside. Let me in. And we might even put an exclamation mark because I think it might be a little bit funnier. So let's have another go. Let's click on the green flag and knock knock. Who's there? Scold. Scold who? Scold outside, let me in! Awesome! So now we have created a really simple animated knock knock joke. That's really, really awesome. There's more than one way to code a knock knock joke. So we have a Scratch Studio at Maribyrnong Libraries. And you can go there and see different ways that you can make knock-knock jokes. So we've got Icebreaker, which is the one we just did, with added sound. And we have Knock-Knock 2, Knock-Knock 3, and Wizard Side Story. So you can work your way through all of those and find out different ways of doing a kind of similar thing, but you can do more interesting things and more complicated things, which is really, really fun. So if you want to see how something's done, you click on the project. And you can click on see inside. Now, that, this allows you to look at all the code. And on this one, I have added some sounds. So you could try doing that with your 
project as well. And if I click on the hair, you can see that I've added some other sounds as well, which is pretty fun. Um, you can also remix the project. So if you don't want to do all of the code and you just want to have a bit of a play and put your own joke in, you can do a remix. So to remix, I'll just go back. Ah, right, because I've created the project, I can't remix it. So I'm going to have a look at someone else's project and do remix from that. So if I click Bunny, which is a very cool project, you should check it out. I can then press the remix button, which is just at the top of the page. And I can save it. So if I wanted to call it Awesome Bunny, and make some changes to the code, I could do that. And then I could share it with Maribyrnong Home Coders on the um, Scratch Studio. So that's something else you can do. Nice work everybody. I hope you've had lots and lots of fun with this project. And we're going to regularly check the Scratch Studio and we're really keen to see what sort of amazing, hilarious stuff people come up with. And I hope you have heaps of fun creating your own Scratch Code knock knock jokes. Bye for now.